Hey guys, Toolman here. Recently I was in Home Depot and I stumbled across this Husky work light. I have the website up here and you can see the design is a tube with legs and of course it expands to make a work light. And I really thought the design was outstanding. So I was thinking about this and I didn't want to pay the $80 for it. And I thought I could make one myself for maybe about half, half of that price. It turned out to be about $35 out of some scrap material I had and some black PVC tube and some some fluorescent fixtures. So I'll, sh I, I'll show you how to do it and it also comes with a handy cord reel base. So stay tuned and we'll get started. Alright, for this project we're going to need a couple items. We have a 48 inch piece of 4 inch tube. We got a 24 inch piece of 3 inch tube. We got a four inch uh, coupler, two three inch caps, some electrical cord, lightweight cord, two hundred watt fluorescent bulbs, uh, some spare electrical cord to make us our plug in, two plastic um, bulb sockets and uh, some miscellaneous hardware. Also a couple pieces of uh, uh, three quarter inch plywood. So we'll move on to uh, assembly process. Let's take a look at one of the most important parts which is the bulb assembly. Uh, the important thing here is you want the bulb assembly to be able to fit into the tube here, the recess, and we'll go through some other details later. But what I did was I measured it and cut, since these are plastic bases, I cut the socket out, mounted it to a piece of 3 quarter inch ply, which is like a plug, two screws here. I made some slots for some wires to lay on the play flat, and I also drilled the bottom out so I could hook the wires in. So this is one of two assemblies that will fit into the tube like this, and later on we'll cut out the tube, so pretty important step. Okay. Take your time with this so it's done correctly. You'll be able to get your wires in there. You'll need a jigsaw for this and a drill. And a grinder to grind the uh, sander to grind the edges. Okay. One of the main ideas behind this project is to have two bulbs mounted inside this tube facing each other and then to cut the tube out like this to let the light es escape. So this is a what I've done here is I measured and uh, you can see the red line here. I'm going to take my jigsaw and cut down in a circle and cut this section out so that these two will mount inside here with the bulbs and the light will come out. So this is the tube assembly. Well here's the finished tube section. You can see I went ahead and I cut out took some round corners here, cut this out, sanded it down, I wiped it down with lacquer thinner to take the shine off of the tube inside and out, sanded the ends a little bit so it's ready to be assembled. Okay? Okay, well here's another step. Here's what I did. I put a piece of wire through the tube and I put some uh, alumi um, aluminum duct tape, tape, the stuff they use to seal air conditioning ducts, down onto the inside of the tube. That'll one, it'll hold the wire here, and two, it'll act as a reflective surface for the bulb. So I got two pieces, and it's all squished down nice and tight. You can see it in the end there. So this will act as my reflector. I push it down real snug and get the wire in there and I have one wire here for this bulb fixture and then I'll connect that up with this fixture and run my wire out that, that end. So Now we're going to mount the bulbs and their bases in the tube. So we've got a slot here for the wire. So we'll slide this over here and you can see it fits right inside snug fit but it'll fit right inside and what we want to bring is bring it out here so it's about an inch 
from the seat of the bulb to the edge of the there and then we're going to drill holes and mount it in here. Here you can see that I mounted the uh, two bases with three screws all the way around. Same on this end. I've also added a cap and put an aisle in it so you can hang it up to work it from that angle. I also mounted the cap with countersunk flush screws so this will fit into another tube for storage and for mounting. I'm going to finish this up by putting these together inside a cap and have our 110 volt cord come out. Okay, so here's our finished lamp. Put together two caps on with the eyelet and at the other end the cord. And now we're going to work on the stand and storage unit. Okay, that's what it looks like. At the, at the end of this project, I'll just go ahead and paint this black. Well, here you can see we've we finished the lamp part, like I described before, with the caps and the hook and the plug coming out like this. So now we need to make a base for it. So what I did is I got the four-inch tube and uh, cut it a little longer than the lamp, and I put a uh, wooden plug in the end, about two inches in from the end. And what's going to happen here is I put a slot as well for the cord. This is going to stand up. I'll talk about the base later. And what you do is you slide this in like this. And that's going to that's going to hold up your base, hold up your lamp, as well as allowing you to store it in this end. And I'll show you the finished product a little later. That's the uh, the stand. Well, in our last step, remember we talked about the the uh, portion that held up the lamp. Okay, this tube. You might be asking yourself, what does this sit on, on the bottom here, okay? So, what I decided to do was make a cord reel, okay, that this tube would sit in. Now, this is the this is part of it here. We took the four inch coupler, four inch coupler like this, drilled a hole in this piece of plywood, put another piece behind it to make it strong, and that'll be one part of it. And then we'll put another one on this way, okay? And then what will happen is you'll store your cord here, your extension cord, but your lamp base will hold up like this, so it'll, it'll act as a base and as a storage cord. So we'll go ahead and finish this off, and then we'll show you the complete assembly. This is made out of half-inch plywood with a piece of three-quarter-inch uh, three quarter pine for a collar. That'll go on here. We'll screw that on there, and then that acts as a as a spool. Okay, this is the quarter. This is the four-inch coupler for the X acts as a way to hold this up. Okay, so we'll move on to the next step. We'll show it to you all complete. Well, here's the bottom stand and the spool that's all finished. As you can see, uh, I mounted a receptacle here and uh, I wound uh, about 70 feet of extension cord, covered it with duct tape in the back so it won't short, and wired it up here so I can hook the light into this and a radio or a battery charger. And I attached the uh, coupling in here with uh, sheet metal screws that are countersunk so that uh, when the base is put on, or the stand rather, it'll mount like this, okay, and be real stable. And then your your lamp, your your lamp will go on the top of this. So let's put the whole thing together and see what it looks like. Okay, well here's the finished uh, light. Here's your, you can see the spool with the receptacles, the bottom a riser or stand, and the light itself. I got two hundred watt fluorescent bulbs. And of course, the light fixture fits inside the base for storage. So you have two units. You got the spool, and you have the tube. And so it travels pretty well. I'm going to put some handle on it with some bungee with some bungee cords or some zip ties. And anyway, there you have it. So I think it turned out pretty good. It's a good alternative to the one at Home Depot, and it costs you about 30 bucks. So and an evening's worth of work. So it doubles as a 
extension cord with the receptacle and the light. So have fun with yours. Good luck.